I'm taking you on a special journey to Mount Etna in Sicily. Many think of Etna as just a one big volcano, but it's actually a lot more complex. So let's dive into what makes Etna so unique before I share my weekend adventures there. But if you are already a Mount Etna expert, feel free to skip to the next section. Mount Etna has four or five active summit craters, depending on where you're gonna look on the internet, but it also has more than 300 inactive craters. Safe to say, Mount Etna has been busy spewing lava for quite some time. Volcano started erupting about 500,000 years ago. Do you remember, Do you those, remember days? those days? when it was still under the sea near Sicily. Over time, these eruptions have built Etna into the massive structure that we see today. And get this, Etna is known for some really long eruptions. Since year 1750, it had seven eruptions that lasted over five years each. That's a lot of lava. In fact, in 2001 alone, it erupted 16 times. What a busy schedule. The biggest eruption recorded happened way back in 1669. It went on for 122 days and it wasn't pretty. The lava flows covered 40 square kilometers and even reached the city walls of Catania. Mount Etna started erupting again in November 12, 2023, exactly one week after we left. So disappointed that we missed it. This eruption sent lava shooting into the sky and created a huge column of ash estimated to be over 14,700 feet high. Crazy. The eruption began from the southeast crater, the exact crater we visited, <laughs> and it was quite a sensation with lava fountains visible even through heavy cloud cover. The loud noises and explosions from Etna could be heard across eastern Sicily. And when it comes to evacuation and safety, the community surrounding Etna are well prepared. Thanks to the advanced monitoring system, authorities can predict the paths of lava flows and ash clouds, allowing quick evacuation measures when necessary. Visiting Sicily, we always had Etna at the top of our bucket list and we were so excited to finally see it up close. There are two ways to access Etna and you can either go up to the south side on the road SP92 or the east side via Maraniva Road. The south side is a more popular spot with plenty of shops and tours to take you higher up to see the craters. We actually chose to split the day in two and the morning did a nice walk around lava fields. It was really nice and flat, walk through old lava fields and a pine forest, like a perfect way to start the day. And it was the weirdest feeling not hearing or seeing any wildlife. It was so quiet. After a quick coffee break and some lunch in the van, we drove further five minutes to do a short but steep hike to get to one of the ridges for a better view of the area. It packed a punch with the scenery, changing so much just in the couple of hours. It has to be one of my favorite hikes within the stunning views of Etna and all the lava fields below. Splitting the day between two hikes was such a good idea. We spent the night in the main car park, which was free, and then drove to the east side. The east side is a lot less busy but had some beautiful hikes too and we got tempted to take a 4x4 guided tour which was actually a great idea to explore higher parts of Mount Etna and see parts of it we might miss on our own. Sun and Shadow of course came along. This place is a treasure for natural beauty and geological wonder and if you ever get a chance definitely visit Mount Etna for at least a couple of days. I'm working on my silent hike next where I will combine all the hikes into one and it's a very different way to experience this unique Etna's beauty. So make sure you subscribe so you get notified when the video is out. Thanks for joining me on this adventure and I will see you on the next one.